And joining us now to talk more about the president's visit and the ongoing border crisis is El Paso City Manager Tommy Gonzalez. Thank you so much for taking the time tonight. We'll dive right in, Tommy. Um, so the president's faced a lot of criticism over the perceived lack of action at the border. In your estimation, is this trip too little, too late? Well, anytime you have a crisis, you want people to come visit, whether it's the president, senators, Congress people, you want them to visit during the height of the crisis. And obviously there's a, a downturn in terms of the numbers. And so we would have liked to, for him to have seen uh, the numbers whenever they were at their peak. So Biden has condemned some of his predecessors' border policies, you know, but he's also had trouble striking a balance between enforcement and employing humanitarian policies. So either way, we're seeing a record-breaking number of crossings in the last year and a half. What do you believe is the answer moving forward? Well, I know that uh, the policies uh, and what they are today are the reasons why the numbers are where they are. I mean, just last month we had a surge of 2,500 uh, apprehensions per day, uh, which meant that CBP was overcrowded uh, to the tune of over 5,000 people, and they can only hold 1,000. All our nonprofits, which are NGOs, uh, they were overcrowded as well, forced us to open up the convention center, uh, also forced us to do a, a deal with the uh, school district in order to have two different uh, facilities available should these numbers continue to be where they're, they're at. I think what we need going forward is what, uh, some numbers we can count on so that we need policies that can be counted on that they're consistent, uh, that they're, it's a fair way for people to uh, seek uh, a, a, you know, legal immigration status, be able to become citizens in a legal way, but a, but a strong path to do so uh, and, and have some good direction. Now, some of, the, some of the feedback we gave the officials we spoke to over the course of the last several months is that if you have this, this many people cross and you don't allow them to work, uh, you're going to have some problems. And we really felt like allowing them to work in that two-year period that they're waiting on a court date was part of the solution. Well, you know this all too well. Um, El Paso has been the center of the immigration debate for uh, the last couple of years now. So what has it been like for you as a local official to deal with this border surge on a daily basis? Well, we've dealt with uh, the immigration uh, issue in El Paso for decades. And in the last four years, it's really reached a fever pitch. I mean, late 2018 is when it really started in terms of the, the caravans. And so we've been dealing with the fluctuation over these last several years. And our, our approach had been that it's not the migrants uh, issue. It's really a policy direction. And so they're simply wanting to take advantage of that. And I, you know, anybody would want to come to a great country. So they want to cross and they want to have uh, an opportunity just like anyone else. So the way we approached it is we wanted to welcome them. We wanted to process them, make sure they had food and water. Um, the shelter we were using were hotels because that was the most efficient, least expensive way to do it. Uh, what we need and what we needed and what the government has, has, has done is we needed a, a faster reimbursement schedule and we needed some money up front. So we've asked for those two things. They've done that. I mean, Make no mistake, it's a federal issue uh, that's being handled at the local level. Yeah, it's certainly. And I appreciate that perspective. Tommy Gonzalez, thank you for your time tonight. One more thing I'd like to clear up. There has been some questions I saw in your report, and I've seen several reports that the city cleaned up the streets, meaning the, the migrants. That's not a federal uh, we're not we're not responsible for federal issues, and so we did not uh, clear the streets with the migrants. We've simply been cleaning the streets because it's our responsibility to keep the, the streets clean. Uh, the CBP had uh, done some sweeps with the migrants, and so I just wanted to clear that up. Well, thank you for clarifying. We appreciate that. We want the facts only. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Tommy Gonzalez, thank you again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.